Classic Kennedy. Alright, so we're about to enter the month of May, and as promised, Classic WoW's Summer 2019 release is nearing closer and closer. I'm excited to experience the launch of something so big, happy to forget about Beta for Azeroth, I mean, Battle for Azeroth, and scared that I'll become addicted to the game all over again. But now that Classic's almost here, I'm starting to wonder if I should play on a PvP or PvE realm. I've only ever played Classic WoW through PvP Realm private servers. I don't know what it's like to be able to relax and actually enjoy questing because I'm always on edge, keeping my eyes peeled for whenever I see a red name appear in the distance. Uh, sort of like I've gone to the beach to have a good time, except I'm constantly worried about there being a shark in the water, so I spend the entire time swimming with that fear in the back of my head. No pun intended. However, at the same time, I get this thrill out of the possibility that I'm being hunted and that I've got to watch my back. In a way, it makes the world feel so much more alive whenever real people can kill you at any given moment. And not to sound like a total psychopath here, but stumbling across random people and beating them in a one-on-one -on -one out in the middle of nowhere is satisfying to all hell. And I don't think that I want to miss out on that opportunity by being on a PvE realm, uh, but still, I'm conflicted. So to help myself and anybody who might be conflicted like I am, I went ahead and made a list of all the pros and cons for each realm type that I could think of. Hopefully it helps. We'll go ahead and start by talking about the plus sides of joining a PvP realm. It's more difficult. From the experience that I've gathered, I feel like playing on a PvP server is like playing Classic WoW on hard mode. You can't just enter the windy cliffs of Stone Talon Mountains, for example, and expect to make it from Windshear Crag to the Charred Vale without seeing at least 10 players from the opposite faction just waiting to kill you. Terrifying though it sounds, this could actually be a fun element if you have the courage to keep playing even after that rogue that you saw in the distance went stealth and is definitely sneaking towards you. This is going to force you to think more strategically in a game that already requires you to think about your choices. Just because you're on a PvP realm doesn't mean that you still don't have to do PvE content to level up to 60 and get some sick gear. So while you're out questing at Zorum Strand, performing calculated pulls on the groups of Naga, you're also going to have to be keeping an eye out for the Horde or Alliance, who might see you as an easy target. I hate it whenever a person attacks me, whenever I'm being killed by a mob. That being said, I also attack people who are being killed by the mobs. <laughs> Because you're dealing with both PvE and PvP content, you really feel like you're getting the most out of the game. Your journey to level cap will be exciting, and having to deal with the opposite faction keeps the game from feeling monotonous while you go from quest to quest to quest to quest to dungeon to quest to quest to quest. Do you get my point? Whenever Battlegrounds are released, you're probably going to find queues pop faster on PvP realms than PvE realms. I'm guessing it's this is more of a prediction than a researched point because Blizzard, to my knowledge, hasn't been very clear on whether or not we're going to have cross-realm battlegrounds yet. I could be wrong, but from my quick research, I don't think they've said anything about it. Assuming that we don't, even if you only play on a PvE realm, who doesn't love a battleground every once in a while? And why would you wait 15 minutes for a queue to pop whenever you could just walk into one instantly? It's gonna be an extra layer of fun. Picture it, okay? You're level 60, and you're in a raid group traveling to Molten Core. As you and 15 other people travel to Black Rock Mountain to summon the rest of the raid group, you notice that skeletons litter the bridge leading up to the main entrance. You all brace yourselves for battle, but before the warlock next to you can even react, she's mind controlled by a priest in the distance who walks her right off the bridge where she falls to her death. You and your friends now charge towards the priest, slaying him and avenging the death of your comrade. Only, it turns out that that priest is a part of his own raid group, and suddenly there's a 40v40 battle for who gets to enter Molten Core happening on the bridge, and it's just a grand old time. Skirmishes like these are some of the most epic parts of playing Classic WoW, and 
Uh, although a PvP realm might be stressful at times, and this could disrupt raid schedules, the chance to create memories like this can be enough to convince me that they're the realms for me. Moving on to the downside of PvP realms. First and foremost, you're gonna get stuck. Because sure, PvPing in the open world is great whenever you have the upper hand, but once someone starts killing you, it's a whole nother story. I'm playing on a vanilla private server right now until Blizz launches Classic, and I ended up in the Charred Vale in Stone Tala Mountains for 50 minutes. Just getting killed over and over and over again, trying to complete the Harpy Quest. Zero out of ten. Not a fun experience. This is going to add a lot of time to your leveling process. If you work a full-time job and have kids and might not have the time for this, this might not be the experience that you're looking for. The Rage. You're, you're going to get mad, okay? You're going to get mad, but you chose to play on a PvP server, so if you can't help but rage in general chat about how unfair it is that you keep getting killed, then maybe you shouldn't have rolled on that kind of realm in the first place. Nothing annoys me more than whenever somebody bitches in Slash 1 about how they're being ganked whenever they knew full well what going on to a PvP server was going to be like. So, what happens if you choose to play Horde, but down the line, the Alliance ends up being the main faction on the realm? Like, by a big percentage. Your experience leveling is gonna suck because you won't often find the help in the zone that you need to overcome the ganking. Your queue times are gonna be good, but you'll probably end up losing a lot of your battlegrounds, and all the cool stuff that comes with the world PvP will be lost for you because you're hardly gonna find a fair fight. I mean, sure, Blizzard's probably gonna introduce um, a realm change option in the future for Classic, but why would you... Why would you even want to subject yourself to that, you know? Moving on to the plus side of playing on a PvE realm. You get to let your guard down. So without being too obvious and saying the opposite of what I said earlier, um, playing on a PvE realm means that you can just chill out and grind until your fingers fall off and your ass gets a blood clot in it. If you know how to play your class, you're probably not going to die, so you can throw on your Guilty Pleasure Weeaboo OST playlist and make it to level 60 without having to nerd rage in gen chat. You get to decide when and where to PvP. So say that there's a level unknown troll hunter walking down the road in Desolus. Not a problem, you can walk right past him without worrying about him making you his next pet. That being said, you can still world PvP. Maybe you'll be level 35 and in Stranglethorn Vale, and you still want to have some world PvP action. No problem. You can strut around with your PvP flag up and flex your EP until somebody decides to attack you. It's bound to happen. Um, moving on to the downside of PvE realms. I'll be honest, I can't think of any downsides to playing on a PvE realm. So, this is awkward. Maybe you guys can, though? Uh, help me out by posting some comments uh, down below uh, telling me what you think the downside to playing on a PvE realm is. In my mind, I'm just thinking, like, I, I guess you wouldn't get world PvP, but you would because you could always put on your PvP flag. Uh, the community is still there because... It's classic, wow, it's a community-driven game. I, I can't think of any downside to playing a PvE realm, I'll be honest. But if you have an idea, put it in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what it is because I'm still kind of on the fence on what realm type to choose. Um, as much as it makes me a loser, I'm pretty bummed out about how I got camped last night. So I'm leaning more towards PvE, but it's not set in stone. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, oh God, I, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna leave that in the video. I don't even care. <laughs> My name is Classic Kennedy. I make classic WoW discussions every Tuesday. Subscribe and join me for the fun that is gonna be launch day. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. And as always, have a lovely day.